I am Tiseng Saad. I studied in Mount Kenya University. I am doing mass media and communication. The topic I'm going to talk about it is the role of media to promote human rights in Rwanda. Human rights, these are the basic rights and freedom to which all human are and hurts. Example, life, uh, nationality, education, um, residence, and, um, and education. It, uh, as we know, many people have a, um, have a freedom to living in life. So the second one is liberty. Liberty to speak what we want, no limits. Uh, third one it is a freedom. Freedom to uh, to pass on the roads and uh, to do what you want. Uh, fourth, it is nationality. As we know, uh, all people have a way of bonded. Uh, like here in Rwanda, we have identity card. Uh, seems to show where you was bonded. Um, fifth, it, it is less dense. Uh, if you have a good light, you have a where you live, house, uh, house belongs, uh, many things like uh, Ford, etc. Uh, in Rwanda, many years ago, 50th century, human rights are not respected uh, because people were divided in a group and other. After some people not allowed to study uh, study but others allowed to study because of their background and then uh, after in 59 years many people were chased out out of their country um, why it had their right to live in their country many people started to fight their rights then after this they are started to kill them because they are fighting for their rights which resulted in the genocide against Tutsi in 1994 in Rwanda. But after genocide the government started to be respected. People now living in their country they are get opportunity uh, in the same level without considering backgrounds. Media has used as a tourism for violating human rights before genocide in Rwanda, but also after genocide, media is used is used as a powerful tools to promote human rights in Rwanda. In my documentary I have uh, talking about uh, with the uh, journalists, uh, civil society and the audience, what they think about uh, to promote, what they think about media to promote human rights in Rwanda. Thank you so much. My name is jean pierre Kagabo. I'm a journalist. I work with Rwanda Broadcasting Agency, RBA. I'm news editor. We are basing on its core responsibilities which are inform people, educating people, entertain people. I will be back to uh, first two. One is that in our media houses we make sure that people are sensitized and create awareness in people so that they know first their rights. You know, 
right to to life, to live, life to to eat, life to have access to clean water, to to infrastructure. We make sure that people know their basic rights. Second, we hold accountable by scrutinizing different programs of the government. We see what is going on on the ground and we report, first of all, in our bulletins, we report different stories about human rights. Sec second is that we organize some TV or radio programs or, or shows whereby under the theme we, we, we invite people, journalists, to talk about different human rights issues or, or rights, people's rights. So it is like how we try to make sure that human rights or people's rights is in our media, is in, in, in our priorities. Another thing is that by reviewing and scrutinizing the different programs of the government, where we find issues, we report that. And we try to balance our stories. We, we go to citizen, they claim, and we report that. And also, we find solutions from different re leaders. And when there is a serious issue of human rights, like illegal detention, like any other human rights issue, we make sure we report on that. And maybe before I conclude, human rights, by saying human rights, we make sure that in our work, in our daily work, in pitching, when, when in the newsroom, pitching our stories, we try to understand our society. Our society. We, we are aware of what is happening around the country so that we report basings on issues. Living in a world which is changing and changing every day, the speed is very high. We are living in a world of technology. Maybe the main difference is technology. We have facilities to, to advocate for people. Let me emphasize that media is about advocacy. We make sure we advocate for people through media channels. And in the 90s, I will not go in details, the main difference maybe is these platforms which are being so many. We are having social media, we are having online media. So the way we report issues of human rights, it's very quick and different when you see like 50 years back. So the main difference for me is this kind of reporting things quickly, very quickly, because of new technologies. I think uh, media houses, the way it can help uh, human rights today, or what it can do to, to help human rights, I think we can increase human rights show. Because when you look at today, uh, we have, as I, as I said, we have a lot of, or a big number of entertainment show. When you compare to, to other shows, I, I mean government show or uh, human, or In those kinds, yeah, health, or, or yeah. The, the shows that are talking about business, health, or even other government things. It's very few when you compare to entertainment show. So that's why I'm saying we need to increase because this will help adult people and this will help adult people to know what is happening, uh, all the, 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 new, the new programs that the government have making to them. So I think uh, media has to, to, to increase those kind of show about health, business and uh, government programs so that people can be interested because when you see today um, adult people they like to listening to TV or to, to radio when, it, when it's time for news, for only news. When, when the news is finishing they close their TV or their radio so that's why that shows that we have few 
shows that are talking about government and uh, all other programs of government. To, to my fellows, to young journalists, my advice could be, let's be professional. Let's love our job. Let's love our profession. Let's make sure in whatever we do, we are, we are really on the track. We are not, uh, we are not using like blackmail or something. Let's tell the truth. Let's put people first. Let people be our center of interest. That is my advice to them. And journalists, we need to be motivated because we need government support. We need government encouragement. Because when you see today in our country, Rwanda, uh, journalists are is very few. We need to be motivated. We need to be uh, encouraged by the government. Or to be paid, to have a good salary, to be motivated in our work. Because I think this will help journalists to be motivated and to, and to do our work very good. Amategeko cyangwa no kuyamenyekanisha na rurashimishije ku giti cyanjye ariko hariho ibipicking on level of media on promoting laws related with human rights in Rwanda the level is now good but we still have a lot of things to improve for example most of journalists here in Rwanda they don't have the required skills on laws related to human rights and what they report in always related to laws and most of the time you find that there is something missing in the human rights report but because we have a good partnership with media high council we try to keep and train many journalists on human rights issue and the, and to report on the laws in general what i see that can be done is to keep teaching and training many journalists as much as possible as we can because from 2015 up now we have trained 75 journalists on how they can report the issue that related with human life. Many advice to the government is to keep teaching the audience more about the human life so that they can now be right and I would also like to ask the government to work hand in hand with the media in order to promote the level of human light in Rwanda. Natanga nuko twese twakomeza tukiga kubijyanye n'icingano turimo gukora. Ya kuko uyu munsi havuka iki ejo hakavuka iki. Ni byiza rero yuko dukomeza gutyaza ubwenge kugira ngo tubashe gukora muri muri professionnel. Murakoze cyane. I've seen media has a big role in promoting human rights in Rwanda. But as a journalist, we have a lot of things to do in order to advance the level in promoting human rights in Rwanda. I would encourage different media to create a, a show and content which can be promote human rights in Rwanda. As we saw, media is a good way which can be promote human rights in Rwanda.